we are going to set up our local zero chain and uh, connect various components like CLI and zero block and blobber etc to it so technically first you have to understand what are the minimum requirements to say that this is a chain running on zero chain side uh, in zero chain we have a lot of different different components like zero block zero DNS zero proxy and many more but uh, they are not part of the chain the chain actually consists of minor and sharder so if you have minus running and you have sharder running then you have you have your chain moving it's working your chain is ready and then we have storage units which we call blobbers so those are storage units so if you want to do storage operations like you know upload file download file then you need those you want to create a location etc if you don't i mean if you don't even have blobbers you can say that your chain is running but yeah we'll go through all of them one by one so this is our zero chain repo uh, this repo i'm talking about this is our zero chain zero chain repo and this is the main repo which consists consists of minor and shorter code and we are gonna use this for our uh, setup right now so this is my zero chain folder github.com zero chain zero chain and i'm on master branch git master git pull region master and i take the pull i think everything should be updated its status i've done no changes uh, this is actually a local file i'm going to explain in a bit this is my own created i mean you will not find this file in this repo this is just a helpful local file for myself let me show you the content as you guys can see this file is just to do all the steps which we are technically have to do in one go i mean i just call this script and it does all these steps so first thing i'm doing is i'm using docker command to stop all the running containers and then removing them and then pruning the volumes this is just the cleanup part i mean it's optional you want to do it do it you don't don't docker is your system i mean docker is up to you in your system is your responsibility manage as, as you want and these two commands are to remove the uh, existing running chain i mean if you already had a chain running and you want to restart it and you want to clean the old data you will find the same thing here as well cleaning data i guess some it should be somewhere in the readme to clean the data so that's where those commands come into the picture to clean the data okay um, okay a lot of stuff anyway so this is to clean the old minor data old shorter data you will find those in the readme this is where the actual setup build setup starts Technically, these are only four commands. This one is again to just to sync the Docker containers and the system. Uh, we are gonna do initial setup. We are gonna do build base. We are gonna do build charter, build miner. Okay, so these are the uh, major four steps. You will find the same in the README as well. In its setup. Okay, this is setup network. If you don't obviously you have to do this uh, if you don't have the network already set up. Build base, build miner build charter that's it these are the main commands and sync clock in the last syncing time the host and the container should be in the sync okay so instead of doing all those what i do is i use this this cleans the docker set up my minor charter etc by the way this is happening pretty fast on my machine the reason is i've already done it a lot of times so it's taking most of the things from cache and that's why it's building very fast it it has already but if you do it first time on your system it will take a lot of time like 5 10 minutes 15 minutes maybe so don't worry just use the commands which are there in readme use the master branch don't do any change you have don't you don't have to and it should work fine as soon as you see this last step that a minor building is done so it has done the minor shorter building everything is done you by the way the default setting on the zero gen folder is for four miners and one shorter so I mean you are supposed to I mean the default magic block is of four minus one shorter so you can start with four minus one shorter but yeah, you can still go away with three and one uh, because after the view change the fourth one will left and the new magic block will be generated so you can go by as three one three is one is perfect I find so that's why I have uh, already opened this shorter one so you'll see zero chain docker dot local shorter one so I'm gonna start my first shorter using bin start b0 shorter dot sh yeah that's it so as soon as do this it will start my shorter remember always start the shorter first wait for some time let it start okay so my shorter is trying to 
run everything is I mean if you are a developer you already know what the logs are if you're not a developer I don't think you should pay attention just see what I'm doing um, okay you see this part shard initialization and Cassandra initialization done is started started so same way you have to start minor by bin start b0 minor sh dot dot don't forget the double dot one minor two minor three minor minor one minor two minor three that's it as soon as you see this go to browser local host 7071 diagnostics your minors are running on 7071 72 73 Shorter is running on 7171. You see the chain is working now. This is my local chain. This is my minor 01, 02, 03. My shorter is working. I can use this diagnosis. There is a obviously you guys might be wondering what this is the fourth minor which we are supposed to start, but we are not starting because by default in the magic block there are four minors. But after the first few change, this will go away and our network will keep continuing working with three minus and one shorter view change will happen at 250 those are the default properties so uh, 250 you will see that this is gone and um, yeah if I have to say in simple words this is what I can say chain is working chain is started okay to keep the video short I'm gonna divide this video in multiple parts so I'm not gonna show you the other steps in the same video um, we'll create separate videos for different steps but yeah this is about my run shorter your local chain is working by the way now somebody who wants to do changes open this code open zero chain dot yaml in the docker local config okay not the config the, the other one docker local config zero chain yaml uh, these are the config things lot of things if you understand good fair enough if you don't uh, might ask whoever you are in connect with but these are the things which you can make true false you know set the timers and etc update the size of things here and there and again there is one more sc.yaml which is for smart contract so you can change the settings of the smart contract like minor smart contract store a smart contract what should be the minimum allocation size maximum mint time unit etc etc vesting smart contract so these are the two yaml settings files you don't have to build as you let's say if you change something here you don't have to build again uh, change in the yaml file close the I mean stop the minor shorter whatever you want to restart and restart I mean stop it restart it and it will take the new files the new config see 250 down the fourth one is gone so yeah this is my chain running happily 293 95 96 that's all guys uh, one shorter three minus chain is running thank you